Now the Philippines is getting closer to Swedish combat aircraft. Manila, after extensive research and research, the Department of National Defense DND, is likely to buy the Swedish-made supersonic fighter jet role for the Philippine Air Force PAF. Defense Minister Delfin Lorenzana made this disclosure in an exclusive interview with the Philippines news agency, PNA, in Manila. Lorenzana said that besides being cheaper and cheaper in maintenance costs, Gripen has proven to be an excellent supersonic fighter with a top speed of Mach 2 or 1,236 km per hour, or twice the speed of sound. Gripen has a delta wing and canard configuration and is powered by Volvo RM12. This is being used by various countries in Europe and the Middle East. PAF has examined more than a decade of what jet fighter planes will be purchased to replace US-made F-58B jet interceptors who retired in 2005 due to old age and lack of spare parts. Because the F-5 was withdrawn from service, the Air Force tried to acquire sophisticated jet fighter like the supersonic F-16 from the United States, but there was no progress. Lorenzana said the United States government offered to sell F-16 fighter jets to the Philippines. The offer, added Lorenzana, was made by U.S. Defense Secretary James Mates when the DND Secretary visited Washington last month. Lorenzana confirmed the U.S. offer, but said the F-16 supersonic jet fighter interceptor was too expensive. By comparison, Gripen is cheaper and has the same capabilities as other multi-role fighter jets, including the F-16. Because the F-5 is not used anymore, PAF does not have a multi-role jet fighter in its arsenal. Although the F-5 buys from South Korea a dozen F-50 jets but the aircraft's capabilities are limited compared to Gripen, F-16 and similar aircraft. The acquisition of a multi-role fighter aircraft, said Lorenzana, is urgently needed to protect the country's airspace. It can be recalled that in 1995 during the administration of President Fidel V. Ramos, Congress passed a modernization program of the Philippine Armed Forces which included the acquisition of new aircraft, helicopters and ships to replace the old ones. Ngayon ang Pilipinas ay lumalapit sa Swedish Combat Aircraft, Manila matapos ang malawak na pananaliksik at pananaliksik. Malamang nabilhin ng Department of National Defense, DND, ang nakagawa ng Swedish-made supersonic fighter jet para sa Philippine Air Force, PAF. Ang depensang ministro na si Delphine Lorenzana ang nagbigay ng pagbubunyag sa eksklusibong pakikipanayam sa Philippine News Agency, PNA, sa Maynila. Sinabi ni Lorenzana na bukod sa pagiging mas mura at mas mura sa mga gaso sa pagpapanatili. Ang Gripon ay napatunayang isang mahusay na super sanakuman lalaban na may pinakamataas na bilis ng Mach 2 o 1,236 na kilometro bawat oras, o dalawang beses ang bilis ng tunog.
Ang Gripen ay may configuration ng Delta Wing at Canard at tinapatakbo ng Volvo RM12. Ginagamit ito ng iba't ibang mga bansa sa Europa at sa gitnang silangan. Ang PAF ay napagmasda ng higit sa isang dekada kung ano ang binibili ng eroplano ng jet fighter upang palitan ang US made F-5A B jet interceptors na nagretiro noong 2005 dahil sa katandaan at kakulangan ng ekstrang bahagi. Dahil ang F-5 ay inalis mula sa serbisyo, sinubukan ng Air Force na kumuha ng sopistikadong jet fighter tulad ng Super Sonic F-16 mula sa Estados Unidos, ngunit walang pag-unlad. Sinabi ni Lorenzo na nahiniling ng gobyerno ng Estados Unidos na ibenta ang F-16 fighter jet sa Pilipinas, ang alok, idinagdag ni Lorenzo na ay ginawa ng kalihim ng pagtatanggol ng US na si James Mattis ng bumisita ang sekretarya ng DND sa Washington noong nakaraang buwan, kinumpirma ni Lorenzo na ang alok ng US. Ngunit sinabi na ang F-16 Supersonic Jet Fighter Interceptor ay masyadong mahal, sa paghahambing. Ang Gripen ay mas mura at may mga kaparehong kakayahan gaya ng iba pang mga multi-role jet naman lalaban, kabilang ang F-16, dahil hindi na ginagamit ang F-5. Ang PAF ay walang multi-role jet fighter sa arsenal nito. Bagaman ang F-5 ay bumibili mula sa South Korea ng isang dosenang F-50 jet ngunit ang kakayahan ng sasakyang panghimpapawid ay limitado kumpara sa Gripon F-16 at katulad na sasakyang panghimpapawid. Ang pagkuha ng isang multi-role naman lalaban sa sakyang panghimpapawid, sinabi Lauren Zonet, ay agarang kinakailangan upang protektahan ng airspace ng bansa. Naaalala na noong 1995 sa panahon ng pangangasiwa ni Pangulong Fidel V. Ramos. Ipinasa ng Kongreso ang isang modernisasyon na programa ng Philippine Armed Forces na kinabibilangan ng pagkuha ng mga bagong sasakyang panghimpapawid, helikatera at barko upang palitan ng mga matatanda. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.